Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me. It is lovely to have you here and it is a, yeah, a cool, chilly um, Friday and it is the, we're heading towards the bank holiday weekend. I appreciate Friday's not really the weekend until maybe perhaps the end of, <laughs> the end of Friday. But um, yeah, I hope, hope the weather's going to change, but I'm not, um, I'm not hedging any bets <laughs> because yeah, it's chilly. Okay, so I was just about to stitch in the signature for um, the giveaway journal, which I will be drawing the name on Saturday. I think I said I was going to do it Sunday, but Sunday video all, already done. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't done Saturday's video yet. So I will be drawing the name on Saturday's video. Remember, you have to have commented on, um, oh, which video was it now when I first announced it? I can't remember. I'll have to put it in the description for you. I'll have to go back and find out and put it in the description. But there was one particular video um, when I announced the giveaway that I said, you know, if you put a smiley face or a thumbs up or whatever you, um, in that video, your name will go, you'll go into uh, the draw for this, for this journal, should you wish to have it. And that I will be doing one uh, once every month, but it's all, it's all in that video. So if you saw it, you'll know. And if you didn't, you have to go back and look, <laughs> watch it. Um, so yeah, I was about to just do it and then I thought, oh, I'm sure you would uh, love to see it, it being made. So um, yeah, I decided to take a risk <laughs> and um, sew it on, on camera. So I, I'll show you when it's stitched, I'll show you um, what I've put in it papers wise. I've added a few bits. I've also got a few few bits here that I thought would be nice um, to, to put in it. Um, I'm not going to fill it very much at all. And, and of course I've still got the front to stick on but I couldn't do that until I'd done this because I can't move it about once that's stuck on it needs like overnight so um, I can't find a book to dig into um, and I've got lots of books here but I don't particularly want to put holes in them they're quite nice they're quite nice books I haven't brought one from downstairs yet so I think I'm just going to I'm going to be dangerous and wing it and do it in midair and and hope that um, yeah I don't stab myself. It is only one small signature. I think there's 13 pages in it, um, but the cover is quite thick. So let's let's see what I can do. Ah, yeah, the problem is that it's material, and the hole. This is denim, black denim. So um, yeah, the hole will disappear as soon as I take this out, which is okay when I'm going that way. So a hole in the middle, I'm not, I'm not a measurer. <laughs> um, you know, if you want to measure three exact um, gaps, that's fine. Or even just two exact gaps from the middle, that's fine. I just, just make holes, <laughs> basically, is what I do. And try and keep them central. Okay. Yeah, so the problem here is I'm going from so I've left the string on the inside to tie on the inside. I'm using um, embroidery floss, so cotton, and it's kind of a grey, grey colour. Um, so I made a hole in the middle and put my needle through it, leaving the end in the centre because that's where I'm, I want them to, to meet and tie. And then I've gone come out at the top. I'm trying to follow. It won't go through again now. There it is. I don't know if you can see or not if I'm oh, it's very difficult on the black isn't it um yeah you probably can't see it all but where I put the all through I'm trying to go back through with the needle yep yeah, and it has yeah through that hole there that's the tricky bit okay so we've got it kind of strung through twice why are we pulling a new knot what's because there's just so much of it, that's why. <laughs> I, I didn't measure it very well, did I? Um, but that's all right, I'd, I'd much rather have too much. Yeah, and I'm telling you in detail, you see, look, it's it's fairly well straight, but not exactly, there is a millimetre or so um, over. Uh, just because I've got quite a few ladies saying to me, I'm, I'm a newbie, I'm a newbie, <laughs> talking to me, and... Um, they are all ladies. I'm not being sexist. <laughs> if there was any gents talking to me, I'd say ladies and gents. Uh, so yeah, I know you like to see these things. So I've got out through the middle, in through the top, and then I'm going back out through the... Yep. 
<laughs> oh, could you hear the brain ticking over then? Back out through the bottom. I don't know why I feel like I'm not doing it right, but <laughs> it's just one of those brain um, things. Yep, back out through the bottom. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why my brain was just panicking on me. And then you need to go back through the same hole in the middle to get into the centre again. Try not to move my pages about. Um, but preferably without splitting through that. Let me try and pull it. I'm just pulling it underneath without splitting the, um, the thread that is always already through there which is very easily easy to do with this sort of thread. Right, my, my needle's going so far and then not wanting to to go any further. Just turn it this way so it's a bit nearer to me and I'm pulling this thread this way. So a thread that's in there I'm pulling that way which hopefully will try closing it up a little bit. Yeah, I don't like it at the time when it goes wrong, but I do like it when it goes goes wrong because I can then show you. Yeah, I can feel that I'm not through one of the pages. I can then show you <laughs> what happens because it often, especially when you're learning, it often doesn't go back through there. So I'm in so many, but I'm not in them all. So if you take your clips off, just be careful not to move your papers around too much now. And look you can see oh I want through any of them look so I was through the card through there can you just hold that down for me <laughs> I need another hand um, but I wasn't for some reason going back through there I was miles off it which is where I want to be oops I'm not in the middle okay so I think what I'll do is come back through that card because that I'm not fighting that then now I can maybe try and yeah easy straight away back through the middle there so yeah the, the two would become unlined even with the clips on now I can see that I have cut I've gone through just one thread there that wasn't too bad was it so I can go back oh <laughs> maybe I went the other way it's much easier when your needle's still on are you just through one thread You are. All right. After saying that about the needle being on, I seem to have got hold of it better without. So that's it there. And then separate it there. I appreciate this might be looking a bit complicated. It's only because the strings are fighting me. That's it. Yep, that's it. We're through. Okay, good. And then you want one. You can see where it's twisted round that lot. You want one of these strings because you've got them both coming out of the middle. You want one either side of that long stitch there, like that. Okay, don't pull it too tight because it will cut through the pages, but tight enough, you know, to keep those pages firm. Now, if you're new and, the, and you're still learning this and you don't do it tight enough, you, your pages are wobbling about, you can fasten your pages to each other inside, you know, with all sorts of um, like fabric or um, uh, tape or, you know, any kind of thing. So don't think that you've lost everything. If you've stitched it all together and you're moving around a bit, even if you do it in the front and the back of the cover, you know, you could put a couple of, you know, type hinge type things, fabric or paper in there and it will hold it a lot firmer. Or, you know, if you've got a journal that you've made and it started to do that, since you've started filling it and, and what have you. Okay, I don't want you quite that big. That's quite a big bow. That's, ooh, that's nearly no bow at all. <laughs> Let's try and make you a bit smaller. That's it. That's more like it. And I'm going to leave quite a bit dangling because I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. So you can see I'm slightly at the front of that. I did do quite a big um, 
spine on this one you know i could maybe put another signature in there i'm not going to because it, if i did that it would absolutely be a gator mouth you know so it would be huge this side um, and i don't want to do that so now i'm just going to go through and this is where you get to look and see if all the um, pages are stitched in nicely so this is a book from henry terry's the Victor english victorian garden i think that i made as the front page because i just love it it's beautiful little images and then a variety of which I've, I've shown you previously digital images from various various people um a, a piece of my lovely pink paper that i adore so we, we've, we've ended up green pink and beige another piece of my um, mottled paper a piece of the printed vellum um, bought printed vellum I couldn't decide if there was the right way up for it I think that it's sideways on it's kind of growing everywhere so I hope it's not upside down and then for the center page it says ancient ancient woodlands and this is I forget which book it's from but again it's one of my countryside and books and I just loved that image okay so we'll just check the back as well little bit little bit tear there might put a piece of tape on that that'll be where i you know i was poking around with my needle and it wasn't coming through i think that's the only the only thing i've seen that's i don't want to say not perfect but <laughs> not quite right although it's you know it's not bad And then I've just folded the back of that in just to make it look a little bit different. It was too long and I didn't want to trim it. Um, so it's the full width of the page. Love that beautiful blue flower. Now, I will just leave it as a tuck, but whoever gets it, if they want to, you know, fasten it top and bottom, they can make it into a, a proper tuck. Yep. Yeah, okay. So that's that bit done. That didn't take too long, did it? Um, these are what, what are going on it when, uh, not that, where's my pink one? Yep, and there'll be some lace down here. And I'm also going to make a small dangle, tassel dangle for it. Um, but yeah, these are going to be stuck on. And there will be some kind of a ribbon fastening underneath there. Uh, let's have a look what we want to put. I'm not putting much in it, like I say, but I am putting a few bits in. Let's get rid of that and that. Dangerous things. <laughs> dangerous and i'd be lost if i if you know if i lost them i couldn't find them okay so what what's going in so this is a proper vintage um from your own to my dear i think it might be lil it could be bill i think it's lil with heaps of love and oh loads and loads and loads of kisses so i don't know perhaps that was their age two four six eight ten twelve fourteen 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 32. Maybe not then. 32 kisses. Yeah, lovely. So I just thought that would be a nice uh, vintage piece to put in there. I'm going to alter a, a guest check to put it in. Um, one of these from the other day um, that I showed you that I made watching Ruby and Pearl. This beautiful, beautiful, beautiful butterfly envelope because it's just a size um, for this lovely journal. And this is from violet that would be funny if you won violet because you'd be getting your own little envelope back and then a teeny tiny i love these little glassine bags and these are from uh, tanya who is tatty treasure on etsy and youtube right okay so and um i want to pocket front and back um but that's beautiful tim holt so i only want a smallish one i don't want it to take oh sorry so sorry don't need to take the whole thing up so i perhaps ought to stop and get some some bits and pieces out some card and uh, glue and what have you i'll be back in a second okay um instead of getting card what i did was dug out this uh folder of ephemera which is um i believe kit oh, i thought they were all kit pieces but they're not but they're all kit pieces in the front so let's have a look we've got some smallish pretty pockets going on here um let's just look at the colour we've got that would be rather lovely can you see that that's a um 
It's from a kit by Nanine and Tanya, I believe. Um, that's college type and touch treasure, but it's, I think it's Will Morris. Oh, look at the rabbit. No, he's too big for there. It's a nice small rabbit envelope. Nope. Remember all those rabbity ones? We might have to squeeze a rabbit in somewhere, might we? All right, so this is just, I think this is just stuff that I made last month, <laughs> to be honest with you. But there are some kit pieces in it as well as, now oh, that's a nice tiny one. That's from a kit as well. Don't know if that goes in there or not. And there's another one of those. Right, yes, Denise, she said you weren't going to overfill it. Let me put these down in a second. <laughs> I'm just digging through a lot. I'm just, just taking little titchy tiny bits out. Were you out of there? No. Oh, you're a nice belly band. I wanted a belly band. It's another one of those Will Morris ones. Look, I think they're Will Morris. I like that piece as well. Well, there are some nice little pieces. Let me just grab them. Little small. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, you see this. <laughs> right, wowzer. Let me just put all these to one side. Um, yeah, I haven't got time to mess with all of those, have I? So let's let's see about that. That would be nice in the front. You still see all that beautiful Tim Holtz. And is that one too small for the back? I don't think it is actually. So I'll probably go with those. We'll just have a look at this. I didn't quite. I backed it, but I didn't quite cut it out. So, um, yeah, this is a, a kit. Was it Wings of Love? I forget now. It was a kit um, that I used by Nanine at Collage Type. I think it might have been Wings of Love. And somebody's got the um, the journal, somebody out there. will know if you bought it. <laughs> You'll recognise it, no doubt. Um, and it is just two tickets, but I left them, three tickets, labels. I left them attached to each other because I thought they made a nice belly band when I was using up kit pieces afterwards. And I think, yeah, they're just going to be perfect size for in here. Uh, because I don't want to put a lot in, I just want to put a few key pieces and then let you, whoever wins it, Not close enough there, have a bit of a play. Yeah, that's enough, I think. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to put that belly band in and I'm going to put those two at the front and back. What did I say I wanted in here? Right, I want something for this. I don't think that will go in there, will it? I mean, it will fit. I don't know if it will... look right. No, I'm not sure about that. I guess check how I need to do something with it. Whether I'll have time to do it on camera, I don't know. But that does fit. Hmm, that, that might be a possibility. So the little envelope, the little glassine bag and that. So none of those are going to... I've got a little scrappy notebook there that I'll pop in with it as well. So I want something for this one here and I want something maybe for that. I mean, it could be just clipped in, couldn't it? Then you could move it about. Oh, this. How does the bunny look in there? Because it's just a pair of ears. <laughs> That's an envelope, like a coin envelope. No, it doesn't go. You make a pile over here. Oh, envelope, envelope. What about this young lady? Oh, she goes. Well, she fits. I'm not sure if she goes with the journal, though. I've got these lovely... Yeah, I'm not sure a, a female figure is what I'm after. got these lovely um, cigarette cards by Tanya. Oh, I think I like those. Yeah, maybe those, then. With a little pocket. I'm sure you're all to me. Oh, I've got lots of little tags here. Look, these, um, yeah, I think it might be a couple of those. Maybe even all three. No, just a couple. 
yeah those okay so move all these to one side um, i don't know what i'm going to put on that yet that might be a surprise to you <laughs> um and i will ink very lightly oops gosh it's getting dark is my light as bright as it could be yeah I feel we might be in for a shower. It rained a lot yesterday. Uh, I didn't ask Alexa yesterday, but I asked her today and she said it wasn't going to. So maybe it won't. She's sometimes wrong though, I have to say. Hope I haven't set all your machines off talking to you. Mine's not in the room with me. I've got one in our bedroom and one in the front room. So luckily I can, because she's got very keen ears. If you say anything that even sounds like a name, she starts talking gibberish to you. So I'm going to go a little bit further over away from the spine so that should whoever owns it want to fill it. <laughs> the spine is not hampered. Don't know if I need to... It is quite sturdy. I was going to say I don't know if I'll need to um, back it, but I'm not sure I will. I'll take that off because it's just a bit too big. I quite like that though. Is writing something as an introduction to your uh, to your journal, and I think I'd like to put a couple of smallish labels on these two pockets as well, so you can write on there. And if you don't like the labels plain, you could stick a little butterfly or something on it, can't you? For a birdie. My idea is that you, you're getting a journal with lots to do in this one. You know, lots to play with. If that's your thing. I like to think of people using them. I know a lot of them say, oh, I don't. I definitely don't write in that and I'm like writing it <laughs> what's the worst that can happen if you really really hate what you've done with it I can soon get you another one <laughs> that's the worst that can happen um was I putting three in now something might end up in there but right um the belly band we definitely have it and there's only going to be one so I think I might have it further back once you get towards the back you've seen everything haven't you <laughs> you've seen the back of the pages that's quite a nice oh yes quite a dark background here so it really pops let's get rid of the white from the backing Oh, I don't suppose that postcard will fit in there, would it? It will. <laughs> oh, that was happy, wasn't it? I don't know, it might not go. Be careful with it, Denise. But it's an idea. Got a little bit excited and carried away with myself there. You can blame that on the chocolate biscuits I've been eating. <laughs> I've been watching the um, snooker. I do love the snooker. Only the World Championship at the Crucible Theatre. It's the only snooker I watch. I don't watch the rest of it throughout the year. But I, just, I don't know. I've always watched it. I think I probably started as a teenager when I used to babysit. <laughs> and you got to a stage on a night. Hard for youngsters to believe, but we got to a stage on a night when there was, you know, most channels on the television shut down and the BBC would be showing things like snooker. I think that's probably how I got into it. And then when me and Neil got together, he loved watching it. Mm, I don't hate it, but I don't, I'm not absolutely enamoured by it. I like it better that way, to be honest. I won't just pop it in there and let, let you, let you move it about. I would like this little bunny rabbit in somewhere and I'm wondering if I put that down that way it could open up as a pocket and have bunny behind it couldn't it 
And then we could put some bits and pieces in it. Um, so that one was in the back. So let's have let's have the butterflies in the front. Do you think this rabbit would like to be here with all this? I think he would. Yeah, the butterflies are, are flying sideways a little bit. Um, I'm thinking maybe a talk. No. Oopsie. No. I like the idea. I didn't like the execution. Um, I'm back. I'm back to it again. <laughs> yeah, it's sideways on that envelope. Ish. So if it was a tick, you'd, a tick. You're not a tick, are you? If it was a tuck, you'd have to go in that way. No, I liked him like that. Let me just make sure I really don't want sideways on butterflies. No, I don't. Um, but I do want him there. Oh, get out of the way, you. So, where was all the other bits I had? Let me see. Now, I don't want anything too much. Do you know what I mean by too much? What about him with this bird? What do we think? Not sure I like him with the bird. Could put another label on there though, couldn't I? Because he's such a cutie. Cutie patootie, isn't he? Let me just keep looking. Not the ladies we said, didn't we? Now there's another envelope. Oh, I've got cards in it as well. Nope. <laughs> No, and no. Right, let me just see if I can get a label or some such thing. Is this the right tool? No. Thought that felt a bit heavy for labels. Try again. <laughs> oh dear. what we can ah 34 and three quarters that's funny specimen mm -hmm. I quite like the colour of these on it I could just put a plain one just because I want to get a, a rabbit in a tuck. Just found this look. It'd go in there, wouldn't he? That's the, that's the thing. See, so persevere and you get there. So I need to back it because it is just a, a ticket. So let's do that quickly because time is a-flying. Look what we've got here. <laughs> back that that stiff ish oh, like the playing card in here yeah there look <laughs> even being picky about card now it's too heavy I don't want it I want it strong enough to hold it and not too heavy to uh No, the front of that's stronger than the rest of it. Let's just use a piece of good old, what are you called? Oh, we've got the lid off that. Craft card. Right, my hands are starting to warm up now a little bit. I have got the, can you believe I've got the fire on, the electric fire on in here? It's only real low 
um, where's my glue yeah you know low wattage sort of don't know how to describe it it's just a very gentle heat that comes out of it so it's not like blowing or you know fierce heat or anything but still I've got it on and I've got a like a short sleeve cardigan over my sweatshirt <laughs> an Aran one so that's how cool it was in here it's not bitter cold because if it's bitter cold I feel you know my nose goes red and my face is my face is hot and what have you but it's cool it's definitely cool I'll be able to cut this out a bit better I think with uh, with it having a bit bit more firmness so this is a label from my name at collage type from one of the kits but I don't know which one there's far too many now <laughs> for me to keep track far too many that I've used oops I cut a bit of the grey oh Denise <laughs> come way off your line there oh how bizarre scissors just didn't want me to go where I wanted to go there never mind once that bunny's got his face sticking out of it nobody will be interested in it oh yeah he's cute isn't he I hope you like him as much as I do. Right, let's get the right, not that one. I'll put plenty on because it's it's quite a thick piece of card. Now it's got that. And again, I could now embellish that. And I'm tempted to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it for you to write on. Now some of that's upside down and some of it's sideways on so <laughs> right on stick a label on yeah he's going to go right into there look I'm not going to put him in because oh, I've got a piece of I don't want it to stick okay so we've got the pocket the belly band oh I want this in somewhere it might be that I clip it round um, a page with a fancy paper clip but let's just see yeah and he'll want to go on a page that way he is going on a page let's find a page for him don't know why I'm oh it'd be nice with that on the back wouldn't it look don't know why I'm saying him um coloured paper clip I think not a black one this time not anything pretty where's all my little gold They're not in here. There's not one in here, so I've obviously taken them out and put them somewhere. That's not good, is it? Shall we go with vibrant pink? <laughs> um, put a little bit of lace on it. Oh, back in. Go on, that's it. Fighting me. Um, got plenty of lace here. I'm just thinking about this gorgeous sari silk. Probably too much, but I won't be able to tie it <laughs> if it's much smaller. So I'll have to tie it and then uh, and then trim it down. Whoa! Maybe I'll just leave it. No, it's too. It's definitely too long. That's a shame. But I'm not going to take a lot off because it's so pretty. Okay, so you might find a little bit of something in there, who knows. And um, yeah, you can decorate it to your heart's content. So I've got a little glassine bag and this. These are the things I'd like to put in now. I would like to decorate that up. I've not got anything here, have I? No. Okay, so that will be going in as a surprise, the glassine bag. So just this really. This is quite nice as well, isn't it? So this is a journal card that also needs a, a tuck of some description. Unless it goes in there. No. That will though, won't it? Yeah. Put that in there. 
just as is. It's from that same kit that the belly band is from, so yep, it can just sit in there and then you can decide if you're going to clip it in or glue it in or that would be nice on there, wouldn't it? So I really just want something across the bottom for that to go in. Quite like this green with this, but there's nothing really pinky on it, is there? Here. Oh, similar. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It's very pretty. The thing is, it ought to be a filler all on its own because it's so, so pretty. I if we should have a lady here as a talk. We've got ladies on the front, haven't we? That's quite nice, isn't it? Do we think it's strong enough? I think it is. So we just do it down there and there. This was when I was using my frames up, isn't it? I remember my pre-cooked frames. Thought I'd gone wrong then. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Where's my cloth gone? It's gone. Got another one <laughs> before it dries completely. I left it open yet. Yeah. yeah, I like the pink edging as well. You're going to be a bit of a devil if I don't stick you down, aren't you? Going in there. Yep, so I won't leave it in because that needs to dry as well, but that's nice in there. So these two will be going in and uh, that will be going on the front. Tie around it and a tassel and some lace and I will show you it tomorrow when I... Um, do the draw. So thank you very much. I know it's been a quick one. I'm going to put this scrappy pad in with it as well. Was there something else in here that was to go in? I can't remember. No. Oh yeah, the, that's it. The glassine bag. So yeah, I'll show you those tomorrow and um, yeah, make sure your name's on that on that video. And yeah, I will find it and put it in the uh, in the description. If I forget, just send me a message on this video saying oh, I can't find that video where I need to put my name and uh, yeah that will remind me to do it so I will see you tomorrow and um, yeah looking forward to it exciting back, back with the flower fairy um, wings the wings um, journal tomorrow and yeah hopefully we'll, we'll be getting that one moved on soon too and then it will be scraps on Sunday. So I hope you have a lovely bank holiday weekend if I don't see you again. And um, yeah, Neil's home, so I will be out and about, not, not here. Looking forward to it. Take care. Send me some sunshine if you've got some. And uh, see you soon. Bye for now.